today we'll be seeing that how do they connect with the ISS to the world and how do they use the ski the skydiving i mean the sea diving papers so first of all uh, we have the ISS over here first of all they set up the um uh, that one antenna at a time but as they goes there is also the ocean part which is the difficult part so that they created an aeroplane like this now before if you look at this itself they can move the uh, disc but it cannot connect from this and it can only connect from this and if different people like for you know connect from this and cannot connect from this and connect con uh, if connect from everywhere so that was the problem and the ocean side also was there and while the um, ISS passes over here there is an ocean which cannot be connected and it, this can also not be connected and every satellite cannot be not connected so after that they what have did is the aeroplane with the uh, antenna but they can't do this this much aeroplanes to, to fly it even this is the speed of 7 km 7.7 km per hour that means it takes 90 minutes to be completed at a single uh, uh, for the single round so as this happens the flight fuel amount also increase and the connectivity was in decreasing so at that time uh, at the early years of 1970 they used this technique so now what they have did is they have launched a satellite for it what they will do means the satellite will be maximally a thousand kilometers high from the sky and as the, uh, uh, I mean the ISS goes over here, this one receives the data and sends the data to the uh, earth. And this receives, and if it comes to this, this receives and this sends, this receives and this sends. At this time, there is no possible chances to be get the connectivity lots. So, they also use this, uh, like this only. And uh, this, uh, at the year... Uh, at the year of 1973, the Soviets and the U uh, U.S. people started to connect with them because they have to create a, uh, uh, I mean, the create a futuristic ISS which may be connected with the uh, people in it and to get the all the techniques so the soviet union and the u.s joined and as they joined they created one thing their plan is to connect the soviet unit peoples to the u.s peoples in the space so what they did means they launched a rocket from over here that means the u.s is uh, apollo and we have the Soviet Union for the Soviets. So as the two uh, rocket satellites were launched, they were meeting at the, so, they were meeting in the space at a kilometer of seven hundred kilometers above from the sky. So as the Apollo and so is connected, there is a huge problem over there which is the lower than the earth atmospheric pressure that means if the atmospheric pressure is 70 this may be 50 percent and this is the same atmospheric pressure as the earth which is 70 so that was the problem in over here as the deal suddenly made what will be happening it is start to equalize it so while we equalize it, we have 70 minus 50, which is equal to 20. 20% 20 of the 20% 20, uh, 20 of the pressure changes over in the docking area, which will create and the as I said uh, in the last video that uh, blood has nit uh, nitrogen in it. The blood will be suddenly changed to nitrogen gas, which will be causing problem in astronauts body so to equalize it first the apollo people go over here and they will they will be there for three hours in this chamber which will equalize the 
atmospheric pressure as the soviet here will be a digital meter of maybe this changes from 50 percent i mean the 70 percent so as it changes to 70 percent this will also reduce to 70 percent so then it will be suddenly 71 so this also be 71 while it happens at the same time the pressure just equalize and it uh, maybe it happens changes over here and changes over here this will be happening over there and after that they as i said they will meet on the space which will be opening the door now thank you guys let me see you in the next video bye